What's up, everyone? Mark Obliner, TigerFitness.com CEO, MTS Nutrition, Exos Trainer, Q&A, rocking out right now. How we do it, I answer as many as I want till I get tired of answering shit. And here we go. We're going to revisit this because I actually just got some new data in that'll help out. It's because from Nick Sabato, could you explain how peak physicor works? And how would it stack with drop factor? Basically, it stacks well with anything. Take it with drop factor because it's been shown to make you help you gain lean mass and lose fat. That's that. That's a good thing, right? However, here is the mechanism of action for peak physicor. For actually the physical part of it, physicor part of it. Peak O2, you're looking at an adaptogen. Helps with VO2 max, all that good stuff. Your body adapts to stresses. As for physicor, one, the inhibition of fat stores mediated by lipolysis via the TRIP-BR2 gene, via the SREBPC gene and FAS gene. I'll put it in layman's terms later. This is just the fucking laboratory shit. Um, two, the increase of lean muscle is based on the amplification of IGF signaling through gut microbiota. That is the physicor mechanism of action. If you're a fucking microbiology major, maybe you know what the fuck it means. Basically, here's what it does. Helps you build muscle, burn fat, and perform better. There you go. We have science behind it, and I am commissioning another study on it ASAP. <clears throat> what is your current body weight and body composition, and what are your daily maintenance calories from Mark Yabsley? My current body weight is between 235 and 240 pounds. I've dipped below a little bit, never over 240. And uh, my current body composition, I'd guess I'm around 6% body fat, somewhere in there. I stay pretty goddamn lean. I mean, I'm always, I'm always shredded. Um, so it is what it is. Um, I'm guessing 6%. Um, my maintenance calories, I have no idea. I don't measure my calories. Essentially, I eat essentially what's in the Drop Factor book at dropfactorbook.com. But I go by eyeballing because I've been doing this so long. Um, I probably get 300 grams of protein a day. Carbs are probably around two to 300 and, you know, post centered post-workout and before bed. And my fat grams are probably uh, around 200 grams of fat. Um, <clears throat> moving on with that. Um, by the way, I read through these. They're out of order. So if you get tired of me scrolling through shit, just know that it's live. It's like doing a live Q&A, um, except I'm right here. <clears throat> From Nathan Ratley. Um, did you ever cross paths with Greg Plitt? What are your thoughts on this still very popular man? Um, I know that he was inspirational. He inspired a lot of people. I didn't know much about him as a person. I never met him. But just from the legacy he left behind and what people said about him, I'd say that he left behind a great legacy. And uh, my thoughts are, you know, um, <clears throat> people liked him. I can't speak on it personally because I didn't meet him. But may he rest in peace because it sucks that he was taken at such a young age. And also he was a pretty badass man and a, and a hell of an American. Um, you aside, name top five influential bodybuilders, trainers, trainers you, you would recommend. I can't, I, I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I know that, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't say because I haven't worked with anybody um, in a long, long time. Uh, Chris Garbidian. Will you ever have another get-together in Loveland to try someone's new pre-workout like you do with the Hodge Twins? I'm thinking of getting everyone together and have a big old Clash party for the relaunch of Clash. Um, that actually should hit next week. Um, but I'm hoping that, uh, hoping soon. Um, Matt Rorman just recently bought MTS Barracuda. Can you take it on non-training days? It's supposed to take it every day. DAA is a substance you take every single day. So take it with breakfast on non-training days. Um, this one's from Emma Lloyd. Do you think glutamine is worth taking? And if so, what point in the day should you have to have it to get best results? Emma, I think glutamine is pretty much a waste of time. Um, it's the most abundant amino acid in the body, so why give yourself more? You don't really need it. The only thing I see glutamine being able to do is it has been shown in some studies to preserve leucine. So taken with an intra-workout drink, I think it might have some benefits. But even then, if I'm choosing what I want in an intra-workout, I'd even rather have taurine. And that's why I put taurine in machine fuel. I really don't see a reason for glutamine. What it does do is it promotes an alkaline state within the body. Some argue your body will absorb more nutrients. What happens when your body's acidic, it draws the alkalinity. It gets it from where it can, which can be your bones, which can be deleterious to the health of your bones and your structure later on in life, which I recommend vegetables and things like that, which alkalinize your body. I don't believe in the alkaline diet, but I do believe in eating healthy alkaline foods, which are fruits and veggies. 
And that's why you're seeing people who might not eat enough veggies have bone problems or hip problems later in life. <clears throat> so I do believe there is a benefit. However, I don't believe that glutamine will do much for you. I wouldn't waste my money on it, Emma. Ernest Marina. Hey, Mark, should I worry about losing muscle while cutting at a high body fat percentage? I'm 18% right now. I'd like to get down to 10, 10 to 12%. Ernest, just keep your fat loss at around one to two pounds a week. You should be fine. If you're looking for a good diet, go to dropfactorbook.com. That's my book, dropfactorbook.com. <clears throat> Nathan Robert Whipple, what are your thoughts on acetyl L-carnitine and not acetyl L-carnitine? Says so they're showing it helps with fat loss and cognitive function. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I agree with the cognitive function. I also agree that it um it does help free up testosterone on fat loss. Yeah, I think that's kind of whack. Believe it or not, the best time, in my opinion, based on data to take carnitine would be post-workout with your post-workout shake with high carbohydrate. That's what's been shown to have the best absorption. The reason acetyl-L-carnitine is a little bit special is that it crosses the blood-brain barrier better than regular L-carnitine. But as far as the effects, it's not much more different. However, with acetyl-L-carnitine, I believe you, have, you also have that, that nootropic effect, that effect on the brain. So if you're looking for mental cognitive effects, I recommend Alcar. For performance and freeing up testosterone, I think any form of testosterone will work. I usually will use straight L-carnitine or L-carnitine L-tartrate uh, for that purpose. <clears throat> Nathan Robert Whipple, would you recommend Peak Physicor to people on the age of 18? Let me tell you this. My kids will be taking Peak Physicor long before they're 18. However, I can't legally recommend Physicor to anybody under 18. I can't even recommend whey protein. So to that, I say, talk to your parents. Not my fault. Blame the government. <clears throat> Troy A. Opsall, how do I get you to become my coach? Quite simple, Troy. Go to Mark Lobliner, M-A-R-C-L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R.com. So far, it's a placeholder. It's a Facebook page. <clears throat> I have a website being built. However, you go to the first post, the sticky post. That will be my rates and all that good stuff and how to pay. How do you start? You pay me and then we begin. And then I send over a form and you fill that out. We talk and boom, you're my client. We talk every day after that. Uh, from Nathan Ratley, thoughts on CLA and sesame. I... The thing about sesame is I'm not sure of the quality of the ingredients on the marketplace. Um, I'm not really sure if the quality is there. The studies are in rats. I used to sell it at Cybation. And I used to actually think I, I think it gave me results. It's hard to say um, <clears throat> if that was the, my results. But its effect on lipid profiles and overall health is absolutely ridiculous. If the, if the studies in rats translate to humans. CLA I find to be pretty much a complete waste of money. I don't see it as a bad thing. I just see it as something I wouldn't waste money on. I don't see it helping with fat loss. I think the tonal end studies are flawed. Um, I wouldn't waste my time with CLA and that's just me. And if you're saying, well, blah, 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 I could come out with CLA tomorrow and sell a shitload of it, but I don't want to because <clears throat> it's just not my thing. I don't believe it works for what it intended purposes are. From Jethro Lambrex, how do I know my muscles recovered? Can you feel it? I don't even know how to answer this. At the end of the day, you could train when you're sore. Um, I guess when you're not sore, but you don't know. Different people recover at different rates. There's no way to really tell. What I usually recommend is train. You could train up to, I mean, you could train every day if you wanted to. Your body could, could get it done. Some say 48 hours. I say when you're not really, really sore and in pain, then you're recovered. You know, it's really hard to say. Um, the only thing I can do is increase recovery rate, but sometimes you're going to be training before you're fully recovered because some people take a long time to recover. It's fully independent on the person. <clears throat> Ready to talk about lasagenin. I'm just going to finish this, put a new one up. Which natural federations would you consider? Um, I'm really friendly with the ANBF. They're a great natural federation. Uh, DFAC, I love DFAC, even though their, their rules are a bit weird to me. I don't like how they go straight WADA. They stick to the rules. They're a fair organization. They have the athlete's best interests in mind. I like them. Um, I, I'd love to say OCB, but Matt Shepley, who is the owner of the OCB, is a piece of shit. And I can't support Matt because I was putting on a charity event and with Ronnie Coleman. And it was through a, 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 a an organization that was, let's say, a competitor of his. And it was all for charity. I was actually planning on raising twenty to thirty thirty thousand dollars, and then personally matching it. And what Matt did is he reported me on Facebook like the little bitch he is. And I just dropped the show. I was just like, "Fuck this! I don't want involved in this because 
he was claiming he owned the name of that other organization. So I'm like, you know, fuck Matt Shepley. Matt Shepley took sixty thousand, up to sixty thousand dollars away from the veterans that we were gonna donate to, and cystic fibrosis and the high school we were putting it at. So Matt Shepley is a piece of shit. I will not work with that. I do not support that guy one bit. But I do sponsor OCB shows because I sponsor the competitors and the promoters. <clears throat> because they're putting on shows. I care about the athlete. But Matt Shepley is just a fucking dysfunctional, just uh, just m malignant piece of shit. And I have nothing but bad things to say about him. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Matt. Um, Kent Beerley, who runs the ANBF, I love him. He's like a, he's like a father to me. He's old as fuck. Um, Remo... Runs the the WPA, amazing guy. Um, again, DFAC, can't say enough nicer things about the people who run DFAC. Um, there's NGA, I hear mixed things about them. There's so many goddamn organizations. At the end of the day, natural bodybuilding has pretty much shot itself in the foot. But if I was to pick three, I'd pick the WPA, I would pick the ANBF, and I would pick DFAC. That's it. Ah. <clears throat> uh, Let's just finish this. Derek MC, have you used SARMs before? I was thinking of YK11 stacked with Test E. I've never used SARMs before. That's something I would defer to my new friend, Tony Huge, over at... Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm friends with Tony. Guys, <laughs> I can't believe... I talked to Tony on Messenger now. Like uh, We have such different views. Like We have the same views legally, right? We have such different views on what should be sold and this and that, but fuck, I just... I like Tony Huge. And... Um, yeah, I just, I can't believe Enhanced Athlete, that's his YouTube channel, um, I can't believe um, that I am now telling people, you know, instead of just trashing him, which, here's the deal, I'm not going to get arrested for saying that Tony Huge sells this shit, I don't condone it, but if people want to take SARMs, all I can do is say, Tony seems to be the best at what he does, I've never done business with him, but you know what, if you take SARMs and testosterone, you're still going to drink protein, if you drink protein, drink mine, so, <laughs> I like Tony Huge, he's a good fucking dude, like, I seriously have met a lot of, a lot of great, like, I've, 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 I've met a lot of, like, I'm rambling now, but here, let me talk about Tony Huge, like, I've met people in person that I'm like, that's a good dude. But for some reason, like, after I talked to Tony, and I forgot his, his boy's name, that really large man he was with at the, at the Arnold, and my wife knew that, like, you know, there was, he had the enhanced athlete shirt. You could tell he was swole, and she's like, oh, this ain't going to be good. But he walked away, and I was still smiling. I'm like, I fucking like the guy. I don't care if he sells crank, okay? I don't. He's just a good dude. So if you're into SARMs, Talk to Tony Huge. Seriously. I don't know if his real name is Mr. Huge, but I don't know if you got that. He's he's not like a huge guy, but I'm guessing it's because he has an enormous penis. Just saying. He didn't show it to me, but I'm sure after this there'll be dick pics. Talk to Tony Huge, Derek. Where is John Otis Hollywood, JOH from Nick Forrest? I don't know. He messaged me like seven months ago and I talked back and forth. To be honest, I got really busy and I missed his email and then I just didn't respond. And that's on me as a dick. But uh, John has some bad health problems and he fell off and I wish him the best. But man, he screwed over a lot of people I, I heard. I don't know 100% if he did, but that sucks. Um, Miguel Anatoly said that, what do you think about smoking and working out? Well, I mean, it's like masturbating and taking pills to make you not get a boner anymore. It's like, why? Don't smoke. All I got to say is you're an idiot if you smoke. Just, you know it's going to fucking kill you. Ah, uh, Jeremy Siha, Mark Lobline, you must have been on your period in your last blog. I have to say, after my vasectomy, I no longer get periods. And that's not a game. So, I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number two, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US at continental USA. Free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.